what's up <clears throat> you Nick thinker um, controversial rapper Takashi 69's uh, 200,000 donation declined by no kid hungry his activities uh, don't align with our mission I personally believe that the organization did the right thing by declining his offer. In the days of Noah, people uh, were partying, drinking, eating, getting married and stuff like that without thinking about their home going. We're in a day and time right now where that kind of money could be actually damaging to the kids because of the type of person that he is and it's obviously it's a bad reputation um, it's a bad um, representation on the because he's not a, he's not doing anything for the kids it's not a, when it comes to his lyrics um, I am guilty of not listening to one of his songs. However, I know his lyrics and his lifestyle is not friendly. It's not childhood orientated. It's kind of like a murderer or a person who says to go murder and kill and curse, but doesn't do it. And they say, Hey kids, I'm going to donate to you. It's kind of weird. This whole rap thing has become weird. Especially now that I'm not able to go to the club anymore. Looking at the rappers. Um, and how they consistently talk about this lifestyle, but they're not living it. I'm hoping that they don't live it, but you get one, you get my drift. Um, this guy is a jester. I'll say that again. This guy is a jester. Back in the day, when the king was bored, he would send a jester in, and the jester would come in and entertain the king. He's entertaining people of higher powers. He's not a product of my environment. Back in the day, hip-hop used to be a product of my environment. He is not a product of my environment. He's a product of the king's environment. Hip-hop has been hijacked for a very long time. That's why Drake, all of his songs are consistently playing on the radio. And every, you know what the problem with America is right now? I'm going to tell you. It's sensationalism. Uh, Takashi 69 has been uh, sensationalized through TMZ. TMZ, every day when he was in jail, always reported on how he was doing. Then... When he got out of jail, TMZ reported how he was doing every single day. He has, Takashi 69 actually has TMZ as his propaganda machine. As a result, that makes him extremely successful because TMZ is a celebrity reporting um, huge organization. People watch it. Uh, I also, um, I miss the days where they were a product of our, my personal environment where I can relate to them. First of all, I'm a man melanated I don't have a white wife I don't 
not Puerto Rican. I like to look at people that have been through kind of the same experience that I've been through. He's far from it. I don't have one tattoo on my body. I'm like one of the few, I guess. I would never put a tattoo on my neck. I would never put a tattoo on my face. I would never color my hair all of those different colors. And to listen to the lyrics, I would be a fool. Because he don't even look like me. By a little bit. So, um, that's all I'm saying. And I'm not sticking up for any rappers at this point because I'm disgusted with a lot of rappers that have been, um, in the front lines of hip hop. I'm just, I love my, I love the music, but I'm just disgusted on their moves. Hip hop had a lot of chances to advance, but because of certain moves, forget it. When Takashi Six Nine was in jail, you had um, New York rising with Pop Smoke, and you also have uh, that other guy Roddy Rich. Um, you have beautiful dances that was coming out where people are just like, oh my gosh, I call them kids because some of them enough to beat her dad, but I just love watching the dance. I love the dance moves. I'll try to do them. It's very hard. This guy probably couldn't do them to save his life. Because a lot of them has to deal with tribal. It comes from back in the day, like tribalism, like when we were dancing. If you watch how the African people do those dances from tribes, that's how these dances are coming out. And they bring out a great spirit. All of this stuff brings out spirits. Takashi 6 9 is responsible for bringing out all kinds of spirits and people. Whether you like it or not. The, uh, the word says that um, uh, we're dealing with wickedness in high places. This is a real serious wicked machine. Seriously. It's not just a person. It's a person with a lot of uh, companies and a lot of people that are back behind him. Uh, particularly the news. Also, uh, radio stations. Every day a radio station may talk about him every single day. As though he is the epitome, the face of hip-hop. This will, might be one of the last times I talk about him because... Um, I, I just wish he would go away, but evidently, sometimes if you don't ignore things, sometimes they just stick around anyway, and he's one of them. He did go away, but he's back in my eyes, and ugh. Another guy, I don't really, I'm not really into Drake, I don't, the beats are okay, but, you know what gets me about Drake, is the fact, it's kind of weird, too. Um... I'm not into really saying the N-word, especially around a lot of people. I'm not especially trying to capitalize off of the N-word, which is something that I know hip-hop has done for ever since it, you know, almost not ever since it started, but from early years. Hip-hop has capitalized off the N-word. You get these punks like Chikashi 6 9 thinking that they could say the n-word to us which is super disgusting and then on top of that you get tmz who basically agrees to takashi 69 that takashi 69 could say the n-word to us which is extremely disgusting <laughs> then on top of that you get um it's it's just bad. It's a bad look on America, to be honest. But the, there's always something around to remind black and white people that, hey, you're ignorant. I'm not touchy. I'm just saying. But what I was trying to talk about was Drake real quick. You get Drake on a freaking thing. 
he says the N word a lot. He says it more than most rappers do. And he has a white mother, I think. And it's kind of weird. Because when he goes home, he's, Drake sees a white child. When his white child grows up, how is he going to look at black people? Is he going to look at them as being niggas? I'm talking about Drake's son, not, you know, I'm, I'm old enough to understand what's going on these days. I would ban, I would ban Drake from hip hop, be honest. His, his, his lyrics and his dancing and all of that stuff, it ain't that hot. The problem is, is you get stations across the United States, like, where they're mainly the iHeart, iHeart Radio. The problem is, is you got these big major corporations that are backing these people. And they put them in the forefront and say, this is the hottest song. But here's the funny part. I was on Instagram the other day. Oh my gosh. There are rappers out there that we don't know about that is making money. That are hot. See, th these are rappers that are in the limelight for corporations but there is other people that are actually getting paid paid selling out shows got lamborghinis ferraris off the lyrics now i'm not glorifying that stuff because that's nothing to me uh you give me an, i'm not going to tell you my certain car probably give away my identity but you give me a classic car and i'm good i don't need all that other stuff just one classic car i'm good So, that's my point that I'm making to you, is, is that this um, hip-hop is take, taking a turn for the worse. And the older you get, the more mature you get. I'm more mature to understand, and more mature to understand that these people are going to make this world so divisive. The, the views are going to be so divisive, they haven't even begun yet. They're trying to take hip-hop hostage, kidnap it, and torture it. It ain't gonna happen because if we're resilient um before the pandemic it was on the rise the lyrics everything it was, it was it was on the rise and um nothing was stopping it and then pandemic happened but i saw great things coming um it's not over yet um so let the word get out that uh there's a lot of other people out there that are making that real money, too. And TMZ don't share what the, on the limelight. They just keep showing this one person. And so, as a result, because he is so um, sensationalized, that's the word I was um, using earlier, because he is so sensationalized, um, he's able to make one song and get two million dollars that first night but it's particularly because tmz and other different media outlets were recording him and he had and because when he was in jail and because of that because of that big sensation he's now become the forefront of a huge propaganda machine which looks like the rainbow gang in my opinion but I don't know what he's about. I really don't care. I, I don't. I don't. I ignore. I ignore his entire plateau, his whole genre. You, 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 I ignore it. I just don't. I don't like it. Period. It is really not even. He's not for children, and he ain't for adults. He's a. He's a criminal. That that talks about doing crime. He's not an asset to society. And TMZ, if in my world, if I rule the world, TMZ would be held accountable for a lot of the atrocities that's going on, for sensationalizing this uh this stupid propaganda. He did something bad. He was in jail. He needs to stay his tail in jail. Should have served his time, so far as I'm concerned. 